Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and to me personally, XRP looks pretty damn cheap. Now, some people, well, effect effectively thinking the same thing as me, maybe have a different sentiment, a different attitude about the current price of XRP, and rather than looking at it as just, oh wow, it's pretty cheap right now, they have this attitude of, my coin's not doing anything and it should be worth more right now, like that, that type of thing, and that's just how I imagine they sound when I read stuff like that. Uh, so people can look at it as, man, this thing just doesn't work, it doesn't perform, holy hell. Or we could look at uh, historically what's happened, which I've been sharing on this channel verbally. If you just look what happened last market cycle, which is, again, what, not surprisingly, appears to be exactly what's happening this market cycle too, is uh, pretty much every coin is going to pump parabolically at some point. Not just a little bit, but parabolically like straight up like a rocket ship. I purchased 17 cryptocurrencies when I jumped into crypto in November of 2017, and every single one of them, and I'm not exaggerating, every single one of them went parabolic. So, and it's, you know, I just happened to have jumped in at a really weird time where the market was really about to take off, but they all did. And so we're at a point now where we are early enough that not all of them have, which to me represents opportunity. And so I, I do believe that every single one of them will go parabolic. A couple of them have gone parabolic. You know, arguably Doge, that 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 was among the first that went parabolic. You know, uh, you could argue perhaps Binance coin has gone parabolic. I don't know for sure how high it's going to go. I don't know if it's done, but holy hell, look at this damn thing. It's number three in, in market cap now. That's, that's just crazy right now. $38 billion market cap coming out of nowhere. And so uh, there, there are all sorts of analysts that, um, you know, have different opinions, but in terms of those analysts that I follow anyway, that are not Bitcoin maximalists, that just don't have something against Ripple and against XRP, all of them think that there is opportunity with XRP. Now, to be clear, I don't have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast. I enjoy talking about these topics and make YouTube videos as a hobby, but that that is all that it is. But look at where Bitcoin's at now. I mean, it's it's performed amazingly. It just hit another all-time high today, $57,536, and it's just a little below that as I record this. So, you know, maybe a good time to buy would have been when Bitcoin in March of last year was a little over $3,000. But people don't like to buy things when they're cheap. Instead, you've got retail speculators starting to jump in now, and they're purchase, purchasing Bitcoin after it's increased almost 20x from those levels. It's it's already gone through almost 20x. Do you think it's going to 20x this, this market cycle? I, I mean, <laughs> do you? Because, I mean, you understand, you're, you're talking like, what, like a million dollar Bitcoin this market cycle for a 20x? I don't think so. Whereas with XRP, which has not moved yet because it just isn't its turn, and historically XRP has lagged behind and, you know, uh, blows up towards the end of market cycles, which I've, I've been saying the whole time I've been running this channel. I've been warning people, I was like, just wait. When the market takes off and XRP hasn't participated, there's going to be all sorts of people bitching up a storm, and here we are. It's official. People are bitching up a storm. Not everybody. I mean, all sorts of people listening to me right now, I think, get this. But there are plenty that don't. And it might be worth considering this idea. So, uh, but, uh, you know, if you're talking about, so again, Bitcoin, 20-fold increase. I'm just using round numbers, so this isn't meant to be exactly precise. But again, you, you would be talking about a million dollar Bitcoin. If you're talking about a 20-fold increase for XRP, you're talking about from the, the price it's at now, which is 52.8 cents, you know, a little over 10 bucks. A little over 10 bucks. And you're talking about a market cap for XRP at that point of only $480 billion. Now, now mind you, I mean, that, that sounds big compared to where we are right now. The market cap for XRP, to, as I record this, uh, a little over 24 billion. So you're talking about going from 24 billion to like, well, you know, 480 billion, somewhere there about, right? But it, it only sounds insane because it hasn't happened yet. But then once it happens, it just looks so obvious. That's how it always looks. You know, you tell somebody a decade ago that Bitcoin today would be at, as I record this anyway, $56,715. They'd laugh you out of the room. Okay, fine. Well, some people don't get it. They don't understand how market cap works. They don't understand how little money has to flow in to get the price to bump up and go parabolic. And I understand that people don't understand that. And so they underestimate the potential for these markets, which are supremely illiquid. But you even got Ethereum here. It, it broke through its uh, all-time high. It was over $2,000 recently. As I record this, it's a hair below that. It has a market cap of $223 billion. There are so many people that are calling for Ethereum to hit $10,000 this market cycle at its peak. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if it'll hit that or if it'll go beyond that or not come close. 
But if, if many of those analysts that are saying, yeah, we expect it at its peak to hit $10,000, you're talking about Ethereum having a trillion dollar market cap. Bitcoin right now has a trillion dollar market cap. And I won't be surprised if Bitcoin goes to two trillion. But understand, even then you're only talking about doubling the price uh, of Bitcoin now. So for all the people that are buying Bitcoin now after it's already rallied, you're talking about a twofold increase. Whereas if XRP goes 20x, which Bitcoin already has to this point, you're, you're, you're talking about you know $10 XRP. And so I understand there's no guarantee of any of this. I don't know where it's all going to uh, pop you know, pop off to. But if history does repeat XRP along with other, every other crypto on the planet, oh, just about, I mean, certainly la all the large and mid-cap coins, uh, they will, if history repeats itself, every single one of them will, will pump. And so for me, that's why it's, it's, you know, the name of the game is I'm not going to worry about timing markets. I'm not going to worry about had I had just, you know, knowledge of the future that I could have just had all of my money into other cryptos first, let those pop, and then began, a, began a, you know, building up an XRP position. Okay, fine, but that's not how life works, and that's childish. And so that's like, for me, I'm just all about to, to, to this point, like I had my bags have been packed since uh, this past October, I'm not purchasing XRP anymore. I think my average buying was probably around 25 cents. And so I did prepare and I'm up substantially from them. But that's only a twofold increase. I'm still waiting for the fireworks to happen here. And so uh, for me, it's I'm just I'm, there's all sorts of other stuff out there that is cheap. And so I'm just I'm just holding out there. But I'm telling you guys, like from my humble opinion is, is that XRP still looks cheap right now. In particular, compare it to Bitcoin, compare it to Ethereum. Hell, you can compare it to Binance coin. XRP's barely taken off. And so to me, personally, if, 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 I were, if I were wanting to get an expert RP position, if I didn't have it, this is something that I would be considering. I would mentally be going through this thought process here. So I'm not telling you to buy or sell. I'm just sharing with you the way that I've been looking at this market. You do whatever the hell you want because it doesn't impact me, you know. Um, but I, to me, this is very exciting, and there is so much opportunity to be had out here. And here's what chart analyst Credible Crypto said, who is now amazingly up to 121,900 followers. Good for him. He deserves it. He tweeted out the following uh, just a little bit earlier today. We are following the green path that I shared on Twitter over a month ago. The range lows at 45 to 50 cents are for buying, not selling. And he had a couple charts associated with this here. And so we're not quite in that range, but damn, we're close. We are we are damn close. You know, 52 point whatever cents, whatever it is I just said here. And it's been interesting to see the direction that people think this is all going to go because, you know, you may still see the 45 to 50 cent range even without Bitcoin breaking down. But who knows if Bitcoin tanks, uh, which some analysts are saying is probably going to happen. Uh, and even if not now, at some point it will have a massive correction because that just happens in market cycles. It can't go straight up forever. At some point there will be one. I just don't know if it's going to be soon. But uh, some people think it will be soon. If so, you're going to see XRP worth substantially less. And to me, none of this matters. Functional is like I understand anytime something like that happens, people lose sleep. And let me tell you why I don't lose sleep. Because bottom line for me is XRP is either going to zero, which I do not believe, or it's going parabolic at some point, which I do believe. Everything in between, it's it's like, I want to I want to use the words, it's not interesting to me, but that's not quite precise enough. It's interesting to follow because I have skin in the game, but it functionally doesn't matter. That, that'd probably be sufficiently precise. It doesn't matter. The fact that I wrote XRP a few years ago up to $4 and then back down ultimately to like 11 cents in March of last year and then all the way up to almost 80 cents and then all the way down to 17 cents, 17 cents and then back up to whatever the hell it got to recently. Did it get, what did it get up to recently? 70, 75, I can't remember, whatever it got up to. And now we're sitting at 52 cents. What I'm sharing with you is I could have been emotionally impacted all those years and I wasn't. Maybe in the very early days, because I was still learning all this, but uh, I quickly was like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Because like either I'm right and it, it, it gets parabolic next market cycle or it eventually goes away. Uh, so my calculus certainly hasn't changed. And that's why I'm sharing with you. It functionally does not matter to me what happens in the meantime. Either I'm right and XRP goes parabolic as I think every other mid and large cap coin well, we'll, we'll do, I believe, or I'm wrong, and then I'm in trouble financially. <laughs> that would hurt. Um, but I've also only put in what I'm willing to lose in case I'm wrong, because I could be. I just don't think I am, and that's the bet that I'm making here. But all, all these people with all these emotions, the FOMOing in and the panic selling, oh my gosh, how could I be in crypto, period, if I were if I were so disturbed emotionally by this activity that I felt like I had to participate in such a thing because I didn't know where it was going. Oh my gosh, that's not healthy. That's not a way to live life. 
You know, just from an emotional perspective. I couldn't do that personally. Hell no. Now, um, chart analyst Dennis Sarachuk, who writes for you today, it was interesting. He noted um, that XRP had gone down a bit today because, he, I don't know if I cited this, but so the 24-hour high was 58 cents. As I get as I record this, uh, oh, now it's up a little bit here. So now it's at 53.1 cents. What do you know? Volatility. You want, if you want to FOMO and it's up 0.2 cents <laughs> or whatever. Um, anyway, so what he wrote here is despite today's drop, XRP keeps looking bullish. The selling volume is low, which means that bears could not seize the initiative in the long-term projection. In this situation, the target is locked at the level of 65 cents. And um, and so, again, the whole market moving together, it's, it's nice to hear that. But given that the whole market, like, I don't know how anyone could seriously reasonably deny this. If, if you believe the whole market moves in tandem, then why wouldn't XRP be a part of that? And if you don't, what is your malfunction? Like, <laughs> present, some, pre present some information to me, and I'll present you a ton more that says, no, you're wrong. The whole market does move together, but... Uh, it's always a fun conversation, but uh, so so again, he said 65 cents right there. And then there is this article from FX Street, another analyst talking about XRP potentially rallying towards 63 cents. That's from a bit earlier today. And then there is this analyst, Lev Crypto, who said XRP short term target 63.6 cents. Now, that was a tweet from yesterday, and he said it would be invalidated. If uh, if breaks below 55, and to this point we're a hair below that, but it's interesting that part of the analysis of these three analysts that I just cited, these three in a row, were targeting 63 to 65 cents, and they had different ideas of what would have invalidated it because Dennis Surachuk he still says, oh yeah, despite the pullback, yeah, we're looking at 65 cents potentially, and uh, Love Crypto thinks it's it's now invalidated, but but even so, um, understand also that all of these analysts that I follow. They all state that despite what happens in the short term, XRP will have its turn. The macro bullish trend is still intact, and that has not changed. Um, and so to illustrate part of what I've been saying a little bit further here, here's a tweet from my fellow XRP YouTuber, the blockchain backer. Remember when I started the video off talking about how maybe a good time to buy a Bitcoin based on what we've seen over the last 12 months would have been when it was in the $3,000 range, whatever it got down. Maybe it was like 3,800. I can't remember what it got down to in March last year, but whatever it was, maybe that was a good idea when nobody wanted it. Oh my gosh, it's scary to purchase it. But now that it's worth a ton, everybody's lining up to buy because reasons, right? Makes so much logical sense. Yeah, it does not. And so the blockchain backer tweeted out the following. He's got a little gif of, uh, is that is that Johnny Depp? I can't even, I could be way off. It kind of looks like him. I don't know, but he's he's got his pinky out. He's got a little, for a little drink. I like that gift. That's a good gift. But anyway, the blockchain backer tweeted out, me over here selling Bitcoin while euphoric retail investors are laser eyes. And I'm sure you on crypto Twitter, you are aware that uh, many people have been putting the laser eyes on their uh, on their pictures. And by the way, I'm sure some of you listening are doing it. That's, like, that's, stuff, that's just fun stuff. I didn't do it, but it's I have no beef with that whatsoever. But it's just interesting. Uh, it, to be clear, no beef with anybody that wants to do that. It's just interesting to me that there are so many new retail investors that now that it's super expensive want to put their money into it when it's this is the least opportunity in the short term for, for a market cycle that there's like th that there could be like during this market cycle this is about the least opportunity there's going to be for bitcoin probably unless most of the analysts are wrong and uh, bitcoin really does go to like half a million or 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 a million dollars this market cycle which i don't know maybe like, fine that'd be great um i'm skeptical of that <laughs> you know we'll see though um, and then he also tweeted this out at $57,150, uh, 61.5% of my Bitcoin is now sold. I stopped selling at 65%. And the last sell is just north of, north of $58,000 if it even gets there. So understand if you're purchasing Bitcoin now, who you're buying it from. You're buying it from people that were that had the foresight to purchase it when it was cheap and did it when it was scary to do so. Now they have massive gains. They're going to sell to you if you want to purchase the Bitcoin. And many of them, like Blockchain Backer, he's made it publicly known that he's just putting, he's cycling it into other alts that to him look cheap. So just, just be aware of, of functionally what is happening right here. And so th that's why I keep saying that the same way that people are now FOMOing into Bitcoin, when XRP takes off, there, there, there'll be a spark at some point, And I believe that tons of people will flood in just like they did last market cycle. Ooh, the shiny. XRP will be the shiny at some point. It will be a big old green candle and money's just going to pour into it. And that's that's just not something I want to be a part of. Um, and then um, here's a tweet from a uh, chart analyst, High Altitude Investing. Do you realize how many people went all in crypto over the last few days? This market is savage and will not reward stupidity. 
And look, he, he's a firm believer of this idea that uh, Bitcoin is is uh, overbought. It's due for a major retracement blockchain backer. While not firmly committing to that happening, he says he's, he's not completely sure. He thinks that there's a pretty strong probability it is. High Altitude Investing says he's, he's the most firm I'm seeing on this. He says, yes, it's going to retrace. There's not sufficient volume. And uh, it just keeps pumping up. You know, you've got Elon Musk. You're, everybody's feeling euphoria, which is usually the worst time to buy. Elon Musk and his company, $1.5 billion Bitcoin purchase. You know, it's at all-time highs. And now people want to get in. And if there's a retracement here, especially with new people, they're going to get wrecked. And they're not going to understand what the hell's going to get going on. And so that's why I think most people investing in this asset class, they end up just losing a ton of money because they don't know what the ever-loving hell they're doing. you got to educate yourself if you're going to buy or sell or hold anything, period. That's what I think anyway. And so I feel like I've got a handle on how humans are behaving within this, and it's not based on fundamentals. Throw fundamentals out the window for the purpose of this market cycle, the bull portion here. Things are just going to cycle. And, and uh, you know, people like blockchain backer that are in the know, I think they're going to cycle their money through things. Anything that's expensive, they're going to sell. They're going to put it into what looks cheap at the moment and rinse and repeat. And everybody else is going to chase the shiny. And eventually XRP will be the shiny. I firmly believe that. And that's what I think is coming. So I'm just going to hold. I'm not going to beat myself up because I didn't buy other stuff because it was gonna, because it ended up going up first, and then selling that, and then putting it into XRP. I'm just buying various things, and whenever it pops, it pops. And I understand that it's outside of my control in what order everything pops. I also understood, specifically with XRP, that uh, historically it it has popped last. I was aware of that, and I I, I still it, fine. I invested accordingly, and even then, there's no guarantee it's going to pop last. It might. But there's still no guarantee. I, I don't know for sure. I my, like so. My stance is I think everything's pretty well just gonna go. Uh, so that, that's that's kind of where I stand on this. But I think people beat themselves up too much. I think they emotionally respond to the market substantially too much. The FOMOing in, the panic selling, it's a bad strategy in my opinion. I'm not gonna participate. And uh, things are gonna be messy. And I, I've I've talked about that. Like this this is gonna be messy. And that's kind of what I mean by this. You can't. You can't know when all of this is going to happen and beating yourself up for not buying the bottom and not selling the top doesn't make sense in these markets. It just doesn't make any log logical sense. You're going to feel these things. The Oh, this sense of the missed opportunity. Oh, gosh, I, I understand it's we're all human here. I'm just saying it's not worth beating yourself up for those things. In my, in my opinion, just do your best to be informed and make logical decisions that are not emotion emotionally charged, not emotionally based when you when you decide to buy or sell or hold anything if you choose to. And that's gonna that's gonna have to be good enough. That, that this that's life. So that's where we're at. I just thought I'd share with you. I firmly believe that XRP is still, even though I'm not purchasing it anymore because my bags are packed, I still think it looks cheap compared to all the so many other coins here. So many other coins here. And I understand, like, uh, yes, XRP is still a large cap coin. It's uh, as I record this number seven in terms of market cap. Um, but I think it's also artificially suppressed in price. And another thing to consider before I wrap up here. And I do believe this firmly to be true, that the longer something trades sideways, Incredible Crypto preaches this too. I, I knew it before he, I saw him preaching it. I, I just know it for some time after just looking as an unprofessional individual, just looking at XRP charts, I could just see it with my eyeballs. That it, it, XRP certainly trades sideways historically longer than most coins. Let's just say that. And those coins that do trade sideways longer, when they do finally pop and they take off parabolically just like a rocket, they rocket harder than other parabolic movements by other coins that have their turn, basically. That's what I've seen, and I'm expecting that from XRP. So I don't know what XRP is going to go to. I, I do believe it'll hit its all-time high and blow past. That'll be into price discovery, but I don't make price predictions, and I, I always acknowledge I could be wrong. I'm just sharing with you what, what I think because it's fun to talk about this stuff, but I don't know if that means XRP goes to $10 or $15 or $20, or maybe I'm way wrong. But uh, we're going to find out. <laughs> just let time pass, and we shall see here. But uh, thank you very much for stopping by, my friends. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.